Hi everyone, this is Holly from Hot Humble Pie. Welcome to my channel if you're new and a big warm hello to my subscribers. I love you guys. Back by popular demand are my pizza pans. And today I am bringing you some for summertime. And as always, I hope you enjoy the show. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you click that button. Here's a super cute free printable I designed and it will be down below in my description box. You just go there and click the link and it will take you right to it. And I'm gonna cut this out. Now for this particular one, I printed it up on regular old computer paper instead of the tissue paper method because, well, you'll see why in a minute. I need the paper not to be transparent this time because we're also going to be using this really cute buffalo check vinyl I found at the Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna take it out, cut it out, press it down and kind of get a template there so that I can stick it on the front of the pizza pan. And I will say this is basically just shelving paper. This is my first time dealing with a Dollar Tree vinyl like this and playing with it. And it smells like shelving paper. It kind of acts like shelving paper. So you could line your drawers with this. It's really pretty. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead, as you saw, and just use my pencil there. I actually was pressing down, so it was kind of puncturing it as well. So it left a nice definite mark for me to go by. It was really easy to do. And then I'm just going to go ahead and stick it down on the front of my pizza pan. Next, I'm going to go ahead and use a Dollar Tree glue stick to apply this imagery. That way I don't really have to worry about it wrinkling too much like I would with Mod Podge or another wetter glue. This is a great method and it's super cheap and it holds. Next, I'm going to use some of the white nautical rope as the border. Now I will say the last pizza pan video I did, I painted all of them the right side up and decorated all of them that way. I believe that was the Easter spring one. This time I decided it would be fun to turn the pizza pans, all of them upside down and decorate them that way. Honestly, I think I kind of prefer them upside down. I, for me, I just think it makes a nice ledge there for the nautical rope or whatever border you want to put on. And it kind of gives it a nice kind of round bubbly look. I like it. But either way, it's fine. So as you saw, I used two of the nautical rope. I used the one in white and then just the regular nautical rope for the border. And then I'm gluing some greenery down at the bottom there. It's just some boxwood that I ordered from Amazon. I have a link down below in my description box for that as well. Walmart also sells it occasionally. And now I'm taking the raffia that I also found on Amazon and talk about quite frequently. I'm really pleased with this raffia. It's super, super strong, kind of performs more like ribbon than raffia. It doesn't shred or fall apart. Now, if you like raffia because it shreds, this does not shred. I tried doing it and it doesn't work. But I just took all three colors, wrapped it around that piece of cardboard like a template, and now I'm gonna tie it in the middle there. We're actually going to end up making like a raffia messy bow. I'm going to cut the ends like you see me doing here. Then I'm going to trim them up and we're going to have a raffia messy bow. If you want to know how I make my bows, I made a separate video called 10 Bow Hacks. That's also down below in my description box where every single bow I make and every video is there so that you can check it out over there. That way I don't have to do an individual tutorial for each time I make a bow in my videos. It is time stamped so that way you can just click on it and it will take you right to the bow you're interested in. That's a two loop bow underneath with the striped ribbon. And that's a messy bow made out of raffia on the top. And I'm just taking some hot glue. I'm gonna glue the striped ribbon down first. I thought that was a nice contrast with the buffalo check. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue down the raffia messy bow on top. Next, I'm just taking a jumbo craft stick from Walmart. These are those extra big ones at Walmart. And I'm cutting it to kind of look like a gift tag, I guess. And I'm just cutting slow so that it doesn't splinter. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sand it down a little bit just to make the edges nice and smooth. And I'm gonna start decorating this tag. Now at first I take one of the Dollar Tree furniture markers and I just go around the edge and I think, oh, I'm gonna leave this natural wood. I, I love wood, you guys. So typically I love or I tend to favor leaving it natural a lot of the times because I think it's just beautiful on its own. But then I decide, that it needs a little bit more of a pop and it's gonna get lost on that paper there because as you can see the paper, the background is kind of, well, it's too close 
in color to the natural wood and I thought it kind of disappeared when I laid it down so I went ahead and stained it and now I'm taking a white chalk pen and I'm just going ahead and writing the word yum on it taking a little bit of the jute twine from the Dollar Tree to make a little faux like hanger for this I guess it's my little part that's going to look like it's a gift tag and then I'm just going to go ahead and glue that on the top underneath the bow isn't that just too cute i absolutely love watermelon i think watermelon is super cute but when you add it to this where it's so bright and cheerful it is so so cute to me let me know what you think Here's another perfect summer imagery that I created, another free printable down below for you. And on this one, I did use my tissue paper method. This is where I just take gift tissue paper. Any brand of tissue paper will work. And I put it on top of cardstock, tape it down with some, I usually use masking tape, and then put it through my printer right side up so that it prints the image down on the tissue paper. And then I just remove it and use a glue stick to apply it down. And I'm sorry about the blur a little bit here, you guys. I don't know what went on with my autofocus. It did it to another DIY too. I was really upset about it because this is in 4K. <laughs> and it's like, whoa, what happened here? You're supposed to automatically focus when you're in autofocus, but it didn't. Thankfully, it didn't go so blurry that you can't see what I'm doing here. So I go ahead and make a messy bow with a little bit of the baker's, oh, we're clear now see it went back into focus but I'm using the baker's twine from the Dollar Tree just for fun I added it in there a rose and I'm putting up some florals now I'm gonna add the little rose leaves underneath and tack it down so it doesn't cover the words I also fixed the tire on the bottom I don't know if you notice that with a little bit of pencil because it printed on some of the masking tape instead of the tissue paper so I had to fix that but it was an easy fix to do and if you make this one do this part before you put the border on because when everything was said and done I just didn't feel like the tissue tissue paper blended in enough with the stark white background. So I do end up taking a little bit of this blue from the Dollar Tree. This is actually the acrylic paint and brushing it all over this image because the image had a little bit of like a blue tie dye in the background and it works beautifully to tie it all in. This ends up coming up so, so pretty. Let me know what you guys think. <music> We start off with this one by making some straight lines all the way down the pizza pan. I do want to add that these pizza pans were painted with Rust-Oleum chalk paint this time and there were two coats on each pizza pan. That's a great paint. It doesn't chip off for me and works really well for this application. And of course they don't have to be perfectly painted on the sides because you typically add a border, the nautical rope, and it covers that up anyway. You just need to make sure that round part, you know, in the front obviously gets painted really, really well. So I'm using the same blue paint that I just used with the bicycle one. And this is from the Dollar Tree. It is supposed to be an acrylic paint. And I think I mentioned it, I did. I mentioned in a video before that I was disappointed because it comes off more like a watercolor almost. It's somewhere between an acrylic paint and like a glaze or a watercolor, as you can see. It's really transparent, but for this particular DIY, it was exactly what I wanted. I wanted that really dreamy feel because I wanted the feel of the ocean and the beach. So nothing harsh, like if this had been a harsh blue, I would have taken some white paint and just dry brushed over it to make it softer. So you can do that if you don't have this color, just use a regular old blue and then dry brush white paint over it to make it nice and soft. But in this case, I don't need to do that. So I just leave it like this. Thank you. 
And that's what it looks like when I'm all done. Now I got this lighthouse from the Dollar Tree. It's with their nautical collection. I thought it was so, so cute. And I do end up outlining it with a little bit of the furniture marker. It ends up not being dark enough. So you'll see I do it again with a black marker later down the road. But to start with, I'm using the white nautical robe because I think that is just perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect for the nautical look. And in the nautical section in my Dollar Tree, they had another nautical rope where they mixed two colors together. It was blue and cream, I think. And well, you'll see here, I'm gonna add that as well. So there's gonna be two rows of nautical rope. But if you have trouble finding this one right here, check out your nautical section if you have one at your Dollar Tree because that's where mine put this. It wasn't in your normal area where you find the nautical rope. So if you do decide to go with this nautical rope and you find it, um, you will have some left over. So I went ahead and wrapped it several times with the jute twine and I decided to use this as my highlight bow on the top. I wanted to make this pizza pan more simple and clean. It's got a different look for like a coastal look. No, not so many florals or bows or things like that. I wanted to keep it very kind of rugged like you see, you know, when you see landscape with a lighthouse, there's usually like the rugged cliffs or rocks. That's kind of the feeling I wanted to stay with with this pizza pan. And then I'm taking the black furniture marker now, like I spoke about earlier, and I'm outlining the um, lighthouse because when everything was said and done, you really couldn't tell what it was, to be honest. So I end up coloring in the windows as well. And then now we can definitely see that it's a lighthouse and I'm using some of the white rock from the Dollar Tree just to glue some more accents at the bottom. Again, I wanted to keep this nice and rugged, really simple and beautiful in its simplicity. Here's my next print. I love this one, Be Sweet and Bumble. I wanna do another little shout out too for our bees to raise awareness. They are finding it hard to find food that is clean enough to eat in today's world with pesticides and GMOs. So don't pick your dandelions off your lawn. Don't spray your flowers. They help pollinate our crops and help feed us and we need to help them back. And if you see one tired on the ground, you can give them a little bit of honey or jam and help them on their merry way. So this is another one of the film footage here that came up blurry because the autofocus was out of whack. This is the last one, thankfully. But you can see I just do the same thing that I always do. I used a little bit of water on a brush for my tissue paper. Then I just glued it down with a glue stick and I'm using two rows of the nautical rope from the Dollar Tree around the edge. Now I'm using some Hobby Lobby ribbon in different shape loops or different size loops. I got this ribbon 50% off, so it was super cheap. And I'm gonna tie it in the center with some of that green raffia. I'm also going to take that green raffia, wrap it around the lid of a coffee can as a template to make a big green raffia bow, which you'll see me tie on in a minute. And there I go, I'm using the raffia to tie the center of this bow as well. Like I said, that raffia is really strong. It's kind of more like a ribbon. It's really nice. It's down below my description box if you're interested. I chose the yellow flowers from the Dollar Tree. I've been waiting to use these because I remember my mom owned a yellow car and we used to get attacked by bees when we went to this one restaurant where there was these, you know, the bottle brush bushes were and there was tons of bees. They love yellow, so I love yellow. I think it's very fitting for my bee craft. And I'm adding a little Dollar Tree rose on the top because I just kind of want to circle this guy in a little garden for him. And then I'm adding the green raffia bow at the bottom. And you're gonna see me flip the pizza pan around and add some more loops of the raffia because I thought that would be pretty hanging at the bottom. This is actually one of my favorite in today's video. I hope you love it as much as I do. It was a lot of fun to make.
this one I'm going to do my stripes again where I draw nice stripes except these ones are going to be a little thinner than the stripes I did for my lighthouse. And then I'm going to take this really pretty bright red color I found in the Apple Barrel paint line called wait it's called candy apple I almost said apple candy it's called candy apple and I just think it's perfect for this DIY and I'm just gonna go ahead and paint every other stripe For this project some of the edges might show so I went ahead and took my time it was actually really relaxing and just painted the edges of the pizza pan I'm not worried if it's perfect it's kind of sloppy on the bottom ledge because that's definitely going to be covered with the nautical rope as we move along but the actual edge where it's like a circle and it rises up a little bit I painted that and now I'm taking some acrylic paint from Apple Barrel Paint in white and I'm just going to do a dry brushing over every single one of those little red stripes. Now I did paint the pan with Rust-Oleum chalk paint. For this part you can go ahead and use the acrylic paint because it's got a nice base to stick to and I do spray all of these pizza pans with one or two coats depending on how thick it goes on with a clear varnish you can also use polycrylic either one will do in clear and i use it in matte so that there's not a lot of shine so i have the dollar tree truck as you saw and then i also have these little stars here that i found at the dollar tree and i thought it was perfect for this diy i cut the star off because I'm just going to use it as a template and I take the truck off of the welcome sign because the welcome sign is kind of cheap and we're going to start with this right now and trace it with a pencil. Here is a great bold chalk marker. It comes in a set that my son-in-law gave me. I'm pretty sure he got it at Walmart. This is a fantastic blue for patriotic DIYs because it's not too bold. You'll see in a minute the color is just well, for me, it's like the ultimate blue that I was looking for right there. And it goes on in a way where it kind of already looks distressed, so I don't even have to put any white paint over it. It just looks nice and kind of almost like denim, kind of. I don't know. It's just a great, great effect, for, for, in my opinion. I love this. So I go ahead and take some of the nautical rope and glue it around the edge. And for this DIY, same exact thing. I'm going to want to go ahead and put two rows of the nautical rope around as well, just to make it look more heavyweight and thick. I think that looks really, really nice. But I end up doing that at the end, you'll see. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my patriotic ribbon that I got at Hobby Lobby, 50% off. I really took advantage of it that day because I don't go to Hobby Lobby a lot. I just happened to go in around Easter. I went in at Christmas and she said, oh, you just missed our sale. We had 50% off. I said, oh, no, when are you going to do that again? And she said, oh, we do it like every other week, it seems like. So just keep checking in. And sure enough, I just walked in the next time to look at the Easter DIYs to get some inspiration, you know, the spring DIYs. And all the ribbon was off 50%. So definitely you have to keep checking back in your craft stores. That's my local one. I can literally walk to it, but Michael's is a good one too. So you saw what I did. I took the ticking stripe in navy blue and just, you know, put it on top of the patriotic ribbon. I made two loops for that one, one loop for the other one. You can find these bows in my 10 bow hack video. Don't forget, those are all time stamped. Those are just simple, like two loop bows and single loop bows that you can go and check out how I made those. And now I'm taking some of the raffia and I tied it at the top kind of like I'm making a tassel because I wanted it to spray out in this formation here so it kind of resembles those banners that hang you know how people they'll hang the banner that is like the old-fashioned banners they used to hang on the White House and they're like half a circle <laughs> or it can represent the fireworks it's just kind of symbolic I thought it gave it a little bit more of a patriotic feel than just putting you know the typical just raffia bow on or whatever I just thought it would be fun to kind of have a little bit more of oomph a little oomph <laughs> for my patriotic DIY. And I go ahead and tie it in by making a smaller red raffia bow that I can glue on the center of the cloth bows.
I don't know if you've seen the Dollar Tree trucks yet in person, but they have a very high shine, which I don't care for. Now, I don't want to cover it up because we'll lose the blue color of the truck. So what I do is I dry brush the white paint on so much that it almost disappears. There's a little bit left behind, but I'm really aiming just to remove the shine of the truck. This kind of gives the entire truck like a matte look, M-A-T-T-E. That's a nice little trick there. And there are the holes on the top I don't film it unfortunately but I kind of sit with this pizza pan looking at it on my mantle for a couple days and it drives me nuts those holes you can see it right there on the top of the hood so I go ahead and take some spackling and fill that in and then paint it with blue paint and dry brush over it so that it blends in and disappears because I don't know why I didn't do it here it's not hard to do once it's glued down you can fill it in like that and then here I go with the second row of my nautical rope I decide when I pick it up and look at it that it's just not quite you know I could make it look more expensive and higher quality so I go ahead and do a second row of the nautical rope And I don't know about you guys, but I find the Dollar Tree nautical rope and their jute twine to be a little too furry for my liking. So I always use a little bit of fire and burn around the edges like this to remove most of it. I don't mind if it gets a little charred. I think it adds to the rustic look, but we're done and I love this one. If you had fun today and enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And as always, until the next video, breathe deep, fret not, and do things that make you happy.